We have many map mods in Euro Truck Simulator 2, but only a few are very stable. Pro Mods is one of the most downloaded ETS2 map mods. It has a very supportive community, a dependable support system behind it, and receives regular updates with every game version released. Today, it's my pleasure to show you how to download and install Pro Mods. Hello and Happy New Year 2024. I'm Kade and welcome to my channel. The first step in installing Pro Mod is downloading the files. Start by visiting their website promods.net and create an account. To do this, click register on the top right, agree to their terms and fill in your account details. After this is done, let's check what we have on the website. The board index section of the website harbors the files we need. Here we have the two Promod maps, Promods Europe and Promods Canada. Two map add-ons for Promods Europe, the Great Step and the Middle East add-ons, the trailer and company pack and finally the cabin accessories pack. Promods Europe is a mod for ETS2 while Promods Canada is an ATS mod. Before we download the files, there are DLC requirements for the mod to work. In Promods 2.68, you require going east, Scandinavia, Vive la France, Italia, beyond the Baltic Sea, Road to the Black Sea and Iberia DLCs to function. West Balkans can be active or not, but at the moment it's not a requirement, but in the future it will be. In Promods Canada, the current version is 1.2.5a and you need Oregon and Washington DLCs for the DLC to work. To start downloading the files, click the index you are interested in and in our case it's Promods Europe. Step 1 is generating your definition file. Before we generate one, there is this line on top. You are currently installing Promods 2.68 for ETS2 1.49. This line informs you the current Promods version and the supported game version. After every ETS2 game version update, Promods update their mod for compatibility reasons. Thus, make sure you have the right game version for the mod to work well. Click here to generate your definition file, which will open this window. Customize it to your liking or leave everything as it is and click generate. Save the file and proceed to step number two. In step two, Promods provides two download options for your files. One, a fast paid option, premium download, which is very affordable and you get the files as one archive. And two, a slow one, a standard download, where the files are split into multiple archives and it's a bit slow. Selecting the paid download will take you to step 3 where you have two options depending on the payment gateway you would like to use. Select the payment method you prefer and proceed to download the file. After this is done, head to step 4 which is now the installation step. Let's back up a bit and check the free download option. This pick will provide you with separate archives and you have to download all of them. At the moment with Promod 2.68 there are 9 files plus you can only download one file at a time with a cooldown of 5 minutes with each download. If we do the math, you need more than 45 minutes or around 45 minutes to finish downloading all 9 archives. Download all the files, save them and let's proceed to step 4 which is installation. As the slow step will provide you with separate archives, we need to unpack them to get our mod files. To do this, you require 7-zip or WinRAL which are free and I will attach links below to download them. For this tutorial, I will use 7-zip. Make sure all the 9 downloaded archives are in one folder like this and then they are in order. Right click on archive 1, the file 001, then hover over the 7-zip option and choose extract to promotes v268 backslash. This will unpack all the files and store them in a folder named promotes v268. If you use the paid option, you will only unpack the one archive provided and you'll end up with the same files. We now have our promotes.scs files and it's time to add them to our game. Copy all the files extracted plus the definition file we generated at the beginning then paste them in the mod folder. This folder is located in your ATS2 documents and if you are missing one go ahead and create it. Thus in your mod folder you should have the following 8 version 268.scs files. Promods assets, Promods map, Promods Media, Promods Model 1, Promods Model 2, Promods Model 3, Promods DLC support as a zip file, and finally Promods Definition. Before we activate the mod in our game, you can download all the other add-ons, extract them and paste their files 
into the mod folder if you are interested. There is no need to add the readme files, thus delete them. Open ETS2 and choose the profile you'd like to use with ProMods. I prefer to use a copy of my main profile and you can duplicate yours by following this tutorial. I will also link it in the description. Open the mod manager of the selected profile and activate the ProMod files. If you have the Cron file binder or special transport DLCs, make sure you activate the DLC support package. You should have something like this in your mod manager, but as I am going to add other mods, it's good we organize them like this. Confirm everything is okay and click confirm changes. With that, you have successfully installed pro mods and you can track in the map mod. We're not done as it's time to add the add-ons. Starting with the two map add-ons, the grid step will be activated and placed below the pro mod files like this. On the other hand, the Middle East add-on files will be activated and placed above the pro mod files like this. Above the Middle East files, add your trailer and company pack files. And finally, taking the first spot should be your cabin accessories pack files. Note that pro mods provide us with the standalone and replacement trailers. Replacement trailers will replace the game trailers with the pro mod ones, whereas the standalone trailers will add pro mod trailers alongside the game trailers. You can only use one. Thus, make your choice and delete the definition file of the trailers you will not use. In my case, I prefer the standalone one. Thus, I retained its definition file. Your final load order should be like this. Starting at the top of your mod manager, we have one ProMods cabin accessories pack, two ProMods trailer and company pack, the standalone trailer definition file, three ProMods trailer and company pack, the main trailer definition file, four ProMods trailer and company pack, the trailer package file, five ProMods trailer and company pack, the company definition file, six ProMods trailer and company pack, the company package file, seven ProMods Middle East add on, the definition and map package, eight ProMods Middle East add on, the assets package, nine ProMods DLC support package, 10 ProMods definition package, 11 ProMods map package, 12 ProMods models package 1, 13 ProMods models package 2, 14 ProMods models package 3, 15 ProMods media package, 16 ProMods asset package, 17 ProMods the great step, definition and map package, 18 ProMods the great step, assets package. Whew, that's a long list. <laughs> As we have added other map add-ons, I love to use a background map and a zoom crash fix mod. Your load order should be like this when you add them. When you add other mods, place them above the Pro Mods Cabin Accessories file and below your background map mod like this. That was a long video, but I hope I have touched on every area when it comes to the installation of Pro Mods. Give this mod a try and when you do, tell me how it is. Thank you all for the amazing support. Have a great 2024 and in case of any questions, compliments or suggestions, I will be in the comments. Bye bye and always remember, you are the best plus Manchester United. <laughs> Bye.